Welcome to the Cars of Palm Springs. I'm Danny Adams, your host. Today we'll be featuring this stylish 1964 Volvo 1800S, a car made famous in the hit 60s TV spy series, The Saint. So hop in, let's go for a ride. has beautiful mid-century styling throughout, especially this aluminum dashboard. It has a full set of Smith's instruments, including water and oil temperature, fuel, oil pressure, and a clock. It has a four-speed manual transmission with overdrive. These three-point seatbelts were invented by Volvo in 1959. The 1800 was the first sports coupe to have four seatbelts as standard. The car has two horns, a city horn and a country horn. This cookie cutter steering wheel might be painful in a crash. Collapsible steering columns weren't standard on this car until 1968. Now let's head to the walk around. As I mentioned previously, the 1800 became an iconic part of the 60 TV series, The Saint. The Saint was a hit British TV show that ran on ITC for six seasons from 1962 to 1969. It starred Sir Roger Moore as Simon Templar, The Saint, a kind of modern day Robin Hood. The producers originally contacted Jaguar to supply an XKE as the Saints car, but they declined in a rather snobby manner. Volvo gladly stepped in and supplied the recently introduced 1962 P1800, and in 1967 Roger Moore used his own personal Volvo 1800S for the Saints car. Volvo later supplied additional 1800s for filming, some had custom fans for cooling. Roger Moore went on to portray James Bond in more Bond films than any other actor. So, actually Roger Moore had a house nearby, let's go check it out. So behind me is Roger Moore's Palm Springs house built in 1963. The Volvo P1800 project was originally started in 1957. The man behind the project was a Swedish engineering consultant to Volvo, Helmer Peterson. It was designed by Helmer's son, Pelle Peterson, a yacht designer and Olympic sailor. 
The first model year of the P1800 was 1961. It had an integral monocoque body. Volvo contracted with English car manufacturer Jensen in West Bromwich to manufacture the first cars. But with consistent quality and logistics problems, they decided to move production to Sweden in 1963. These cars were designated as the Model 1800S, S standing for Sweden, not Sport. The final version of the 1800 was the E model in 1970, with E standing for Einspritzung, the German word for electronic fuel injection. There was also a shooting brake version designated as the ES. How reliable are these P1800s? The Guinness Book of World Records has Irv Gordon driving his 1966 Volvo 1800 listed as the highest certified mileage driven by the original owner at an incredible 3.2 million miles in 47 years. That's over 120 times around the world for seven round trips to the moon. He passed away in 2018 at the age of 78. It's 171 inches long and 66.9 inches wide. The height is 50.6 inches. Curb weight is 2,490 pounds. So underneath we've got a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine. It generates 108 horsepower and has a top speed of 109 miles an hour. It originally came with two SU carburetors. The owner replaced it with a Weber. It has a fairly spacious trunk. These mini light wheels are typical of the period but are much wider than the original steel wheels. One of the interesting details of this car is the extensive use of bright work. It's beautiful, but rare and expensive to replace. Now let's hit the open road. It really is a comfortable car to drive at highway speeds. The top speed of this car is about 103 miles an hour. Uh, it drives really nice on the open highway. That's what it's meant for. It's a grand touring car. It's not uncommon for people to mistake this for a Ferrari 250, which is a $40 million car. is one of my favorite cars to drive, a true 1960s GT. Thanks for joining us on the show today. We hope you liked it. Please subscribe so you'll get notified when we have new episodes out.